everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on the 3 d Me Epoxy Thickener by Artworks. You can purchase this at thecraftattack.com. There will be a link in the description. Okay, so I have glittered my cup and I've done my first coat of epoxy and I sand till it's very smooth. And then I spray with a clear sealer to get rid of any sand marks since I am going to be putting a clear water slide on. If you don't spray with a clear sealer, those sand marks will show through. This is my image I'm using today. I printed on clear water slide and I sealed it three times. Then I cut it out and now we're going to soak it in water for about 30 seconds. I let it sit in there so that the back starts to come loose from the water slide. After 30, 45 seconds, I'll pick it up and kind of do a little test and see if it separates easy. If it doesn't, then I put it back in and let it soak a little longer. Once it's been soaking for a little while longer, I take it out and test it again, and it should be ready by this point. Then I take a little bit of water, put it on my cup so that the water slide will move around a little easier so you can adjust it to where you want it on your cup. And it should slide off really easy from the backing if it's soaked long enough. Then I position it on my cup and remove the backing out from underneath. And I take a wet paper towel or you can use a silicone brush or whatever works for you. And I squeegee out all the air bubbles in there in the water. I continue to go over my water slide with a wet paper towel and feeling it with my fingers so that I can feel if there's any bumps or any wrinkling in the water slide. And I just keep going over it until it is perfectly smooth and then we can let it dry and seal our cup. Now that I have let my cup dry and I coated it with a layer of epoxy, we're ready to start using the 3 d Me powder. Here's the cup after I let it dry and epoxied it. I mixed a small amount in just a medicine cup of epoxy to do our drips. This is what the 3D Me comes in by Artworks. Now as stated on the lid of the container, please make sure that you wear a dust mask and gloves when using this powder. So I just mixed a small amount of epoxy. You don't really need a lot. I think I did about 20 ml total. And what you do is you just take a little spoon or whatever you have, something small. I just scoop a very tiny amount in with my epoxy and I start stirring. Now it does clump up a little bit, but once you keep stirring, it will blend in. And it also will turn a milky color, which is okay because we'll be tinting our epoxy anyways to make it a brown chocolatey look. So you just keep stirring until it smooths out and then you add a little bit at a time and every time that you add some it's going to get thicker and thicker. So what you want to do is just keep adding a little amount, stir, add a little more until you get to the thickness that you'd like. The more powder you add the thicker it's going to get and the milkier it will look. You just keep stirring and stirring and, and kind of test it and see if it looks runny enough or if you don't want it too runny, then it's going to run all the way down your cup. So you just want to kind of test it maybe on the side of a medicine cup and see how it runs down that cup. That will kind of give you an idea of how it's going to run down your cup when you put it on. Now that I have mine to the thickness I desire, I'm adding my mica powder just a little bit at a time and we'll mix it up to get that nice chocolatey milky look for our hot cocoa cup. Now you can do any color depending on what kind of cup you're doing, but this one's going to be a Christmas hot cocoa one. So we're going to have dark chocolate drips going down the cup. So now that I've got it to the consistency that I'd like, I'm going to test it on a small medicine cup just to see how it runs. Now it's not running a lot, but it's running just enough. So I think that's going to be okay. We'll give it a shot. Now I'm ready to start applying to the rim of my cup. I am going to use a metal stir stick today, but you can use a popsicle stick or something of the sort. Uh, a lot of different things will work for this. 
Now I do apologize that part of this video is hard to see. I didn't realize that I was not completely under the camera, but it will get to the point where you can see it. So I'm just going around the rim of my cup and applying just a small amount all the way around. Um, you don't want to put too much above the decal, so I do that a little bit thinner and then do the thicker areas that aren't around the decal. You don't want it to run over your decal and then cover up your decal. So I just keep doing this over and over, going around and around, and as you can see, it's already starting to do its drips, but it's not too fast, so I'm really happy with the consistency on this one. So I'll just go around and around until I get my drips to the way I want them. So far I'm liking how this is turning out. I don't have a ton of movement, but that's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want it too runny. So what I'm going to do is let it sit for probably about 10 minutes or so, let it thicken up just a little bit more, and then I'll be ready to add my candies to the cocoa drips. These are my little peppermint candies and sprinkles that I'm going to add to the cocoa. I'm just going to use my fingers and sprinkle them on just randomly over the cup and then you can use a popsicle stick or something small to press them down into the resin. Now that I've let my drips cure with the candies on them, we are ready for a final coat of epoxy.